Great news, everybody. Factory Striders are back, and you can find them on basically every single automaton mission. They also get dropped in by drop shops. Uh, drop shops? Drop ships <laughs> as well. So watch out for that. Um, there is also a specific mission to go and kill Factory Striders as well. So you might be lucky enough to find that. It might be on lower difficulties than Helldive, though. But yeah, there is a new mission. Okay, this video, we've got a lot to cover because there are some worries, um, but there's also a new major order. So let's begin with the major order. With the Menkent line established, the Automaton fleet has been forced to divert their plans. Now, they are attempting a concerted effort to punch through at a single planet. The Automatons are likely to muster the entirety of their strength for this endeavor. You must outlast the enemy. Hold the planet no matter the cost. <laughs> oh, Lord. And this was the information for us actually completing the major order. So, major order one. The defense held. The Menket line has been established. The automaton advance has been arrested. Rudimentary orbital defenses have been established along the line and are being augmented by hard-working super-Earth armed forces and civilian laborers. Meanwhile, the surf forward command base on Vernon Wells is up and running, providing fresh recruits and supplies to the front. So, mission is accomplished, but now we have to defend and... We've got to make sure the Menkent line is defended at all costs. We cannot allow them to break through the line. Let's make it happen. Although, like I said, they are deploying factory walkers en masse. You will find them all over the place. They, 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 they get dropped in on dropships. They're just in bases. They're walking around the map. There's missions to go and kill them. It, it's crazy. It's a, a, an awesome time. <laughs> it's so good. So I did think about highlighting the bugs uh, just in this specific game I'm using in the background of this video and then i thought actually i'm not going to bother i'm just going to leave it because i'm sure you guys will notice bugs um and you'll notice them in every single mission that you play and this is a problem with hell divers and it is really plaguing the game however we've got some information from spitz one of the community managers here and this really does shine a light onto what's going on at arrowhead because you've got to remember they have a game here that is wildly successful you know, easily the game is always over 200,000 concurrent players on Steam. When you throw in console numbers as well, it's even higher. When you're looking at peak times, you're getting upwards of 400,000 just on Steam. Things are crazy for Helldivers. And what the devs are actually doing is dropping a war bond every month and doing patch updates as well with new content. And the question is, is this sustainable? Now, there has been the defense thrown around that well, actually it's not the same devs that are working on all of this stuff. You know, there will be um dev teams working on balance dev teams working on new content actually though that isn't the case and this is super worrying so check this out spit says over in the official discord for helldivers 2 most of the bugs in the known issues list in patch notes updates are actively being worked on but they're either large fixes that require a bit of time or low priority issues behind other things and most should be patched in the next major build it's difficult to maintain our cadence of one war bond per month while also fixing major technical glitches in time for the next patch. So this is worrying, right? This is a company representative basically saying, look, we're, we're not actually, we can't, we're getting overwhelmed. We are producing updates. We're producing balance patches, game updates, game patches. We're also making war bonds. We're adding new content. We we'll keep doing this, but every time they're adding new stuff to the game, it's getting effectively more broken or something isn't working as well. You get more things added to the known issues list. The list goes on and on and on and on. And I'm really worried that they're going to get swamped. So this in itself was quite worrying to read because you don't generally see that from people who are obviously public facing members of the company. But honestly, I think this is refreshing to see it. You know, I want developers and community managers to be real. I don't want them to just be PR trained bots because those guys are terrible. So then you're probably thinking, well, okay, what about all of the dev style? You know, the ones working on balance patches are not going to be the same ones working on new weapons, are not going to be the same ones working on bug fixes, are not going to be the same ones working on war bonds. Well, they kind of are. Check this out. So Spitz says in response to a message that for some reason could not be loaded on Discord, uh, says yes and no. The people who work on bugs with armor and guns, etc., are the same people who make the new guns and armor. So the nature of the bug really determines which team is focused on fixing it. So what you've got here is uh, dual responsibilities for this team. If they're making new weapons and armor, which are being plugged either into the game as a content drop or as a war bond, they're also the same people that have got to fix the weapons when they break or the armor when it breaks. And if they keep adding new stuff and they aren't fixing the older stuff and then the new stuff ends up broke, 
you just end up with this endless list of trying to fix everything. And like, I really get the sense. I mean, this might be a bit overly dramatic, but I get the sense that they're, they're sort of, they're, I think they're grinding like mad. I think there is a ton of work going on at Arrowhead. I think they are really trying to keep this momentum going. And I don't know anything about the game studio. I don't know anything about their dev team sizes or the way they work. But I don't want them to get overwhelmed and then that to be detrimental to the game. See, because the, the big issue here is, guys, new content, they need new content because new content makes money. It sells war bonds. I know you can go out there and grind super credits to buy war bonds and, and grind your medals out to make the unlocks from the war bonds. So you don't necessarily need to actually buy the super credits to get the war bonds. But I bet a lot of people do. And I bet a lot of people do spend the super credits in the store anyway. Debatable, you know, as to whether that armor looks good or bad or whatever. Some bits look great, some bits don't. Um, but people do spend money. So to keep the money flowing into the game, they need to keep adding war bonds. So they've committed to doing one a month, but then they're also breaking the game by adding new content. So they need to fix it, which is fine. But they keep adding new content, so it's causing more issues. And I'm a bit worried where this could end up, because if this just carries on, um, with the same, I guess, people and team working on stuff. This could be almost like an endless war. They'll never win. And the big issue I've got is if the game... Like, okay, so I, how can I phrase this? We've got a honeymoon period with the game. And I still think we're in that period because... I, I, but also, it's special with Helldivers, right? I know I'm getting a bit blabby here, but it is special with Helldivers because the game is so awesome and unique. And they're great at adding new things. So, yeah, the game can be buggy. Like I said, there's loads of bugs in this clip that you guys are seeing here in the background. So think of it this way. In any other FPS game or shooter game, technically Helldivers isn't an FPS game in itself because you can play in third person, whatever, shooter games, would you accept major bugs with weapons? Would you accept major bugs with ammo? Did you know if you use the grenade pistol, you get two grenades when you drop out of the uh, drop pod? Like you, It only says one, but you can fire one and then you've got another one. And this happens to other weapons as well. Did you know things like the scope on the uh, AMR, which I'm using here, it's not aligned properly. It doesn't work properly. It's the scope. This is crucial. You know, think of any other FPS game. If you're playing Battlefield, Call of Duty, I don't know, Overwatch, whatever, and you're trying to look for a scope and it's not aligned properly, you're, you're not. that's not going to wash, right? But in Helldivers, it kind of does because of everything else going on around it. And my w worry would be, as time goes on, these issues are going to become more and more of a problem. So they really need to fix them now. And it looks like because they're putting so much effort into making sure there's new content all the time, making sure there's new war bonds, they don't have enough time to actually fix problems. So the problems are getting compounded. The issue is, though, they need to add the new content, need to add the war bonds, because that's the ongoing revenue generation of the game. So this is a problem. Also, this could be enforced on them by Sony. Remember, Sony is the publisher. So Sony could be saying, you need to do this. You've signed a contract with us. You've got to make a war bond every month, so get it done. This then goes on to a wider debate around Arrowhead and studio uh, sort of growth and things like that. Do they need to bring more teams, more people on board? It's a very complicated issue. And you can't just plug developers into a game and go, off you go, work on this. It takes them a couple of months to get up to speed with the, you know, the development systems and tools that teams use. So yeah, it's not a simple fix, but it is a legitimate worry. Spitz was also asked about major updates and the dates they go live uh, and basically says major builds usually go live the week before a war bond release. So... A war bond, you get them once a, once a month. But the week before that, you generally get a big update. Now, remember, it's still early days for Helldivers. And they can change a lot of this stuff. You know, they may go, okay, we're going to push war bonds out to every six weeks instead of every week. Because let's be real here. The amount of content being added to this game is frankly bonkers. Like, they are adding loads of content to the game. Spitz also was asked, well, why don't you just skip a war bond? And says this, sadly, it's not that simple. Skipping a war bond for a month is a huge company decision and that's the thing that's the kick that's the rub the key thing here guys war bonds are, are how they make their money and like i said it's debatable you can say oh well you know i i farm super credits or i, I play the game so much i don't even need to buy war bonds whatever they're not getting any money off me i just bought the game blah 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 blah. that's all fine but i bet a lot of people do and and you can bet your bottom dollar that arrowhead know in a very specific detail how many people are are buying these war bonds and what people like in the war bonds, you know, you can refer back to the poll that was placed in the Discord where they were asking, what do you think about the recent war bond? You know, so they are trying to get info. They are trying to make these things sweeter and better for people to buy. But it's not simple. You can't just go, okay, actually, we're not just going to release war bonds. We're just going to now focus on the balance of the game because they do need to keep the war bonds coming. So this is a really big issue. I think in an ideal world, what I would say is, okay, guys, we've got to fix our game now. 
We're going to spend a few weeks making sure we get a lot of the baseline issues fixed, and then we can go back to adding content. Problem is, would you as a player sit there and go, oh, well, Helldivers hasn't been updated for four or five weeks with any new content. It's getting a bit boring now. Because what is keeping you coming back to, to, to Helldivers? It's new major orders. It's new enemies. It's new weapons, right? It's new mission types. It's new planets. All of this stuff. And it's got to keep coming, right? This is a massive problem for the game. And I just realized... Um, I get, I get, well, it's not realized, but I just guess we all can sort of hope that they do fix this and it doesn't become you know, the downfall of the game, which is, again, an extreme thing to say. This game isn't going to collapse. It's a really big game, and it's an awesome game. But these are problems, and they're like little roots, little seeds of problems, and they need to be stamped out, much like we'd stamp the bugs out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, get out there and smash some factory striders. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you soon.